If you've been watching my videos, you already know chocolate is one of my favorite flavors. And chocolate cake is no exception. I like all types of chocolate cake, especially German chocolate because the filling has a ah, rich pecan flavor. We're going to explore it next on The Sweet Spot. What I love about chocolate cake is it's such a simple and easy batter to make. So we're going to start our batter by taking our flour and our cocoa powder. We're going to mix that together in a bowl. We're gonna also add our salt, our baking soda, and our baking powder. Cocoa powder is one of those things when you're mixing it, it can fly everywhere. So I start mixing softly, and then as I get it incorporated, do a more aggressive mix. If you feel like you're just aggressive from the start, use a bigger bowl so you don't get it going all over the kitchen because it can become a big mess. So I'm just slowly whisking that all together. And I'm gonna whisk until I get it fully incorporated because you want all of that baking soda, salt, baking powder, cocoa powder evenly distributed because when you put it in your batter, you want that flavor even throughout your cake. So that's all mixed together. Let's put this aside because we're gonna add that in a little bit later. Now let's start making our batter inside of our mixing bowl. The great thing about this cake, it's so easy to make. If you prefer to use a handheld mixer, you can mix this with a handheld mixer because you're using simple ingredients. You don't have to whip butter. It just comes together very easily. I just like a stand mixer. It's just my preference, but sometimes I'll whip out my handheld mixer and mix it together. So start by adding your sugar. your eggs, your canola oil, and vanilla. And we're gonna mix this together on medium until everything's nice and combined. All right, we have all of that mixed together. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl. So that's all mixed together. Do a quick scrape of the sides of your bowl just to make sure everything combined and mixed together. Then what we're gonna do is move on to our flour and rotating, mixing in our flour mixture with our buttermilk. That's gonna really help give our batter its nice moisture content and really come together. So the first step will be is to add some of the flour. I add about a third of the flour Mix it in and then we're gonna rotate in some buttermilk. And just a third. And then we're gonna mix this on medium until it's combined. All right. Just do a quick scrape on the sides of the bowl. So now I'm gonna add in a third of my buttermilk. And mix that on medium until that's nice and smooth. My batter is all mixed together. I've added all of the dry ingredients as well as the buttermilk. Now it's time to make our final ingredient. Now, this is optional, but I do encourage you to add this ingredient because it just brings it all together. I have my hot water here. I'm going to add my chocolate chips. Now the chocolate chips, you really want. You need those into the, in there. And I'm gonna add my instant espresso. Now this is optional, but I'm telling you, it just gives it a full body of flavor. And I'm just gonna whisk until that's all melted together. Oh my God, I can smell the chocolate and that espresso. It smells so good. And the, if your water's at a really nice temperature, it instantly melts and you don't have to whisk very long. All right, and as you can see, that's all nice and mixed together. It smells amazing. And this is our final ingredient to go into our mixing bowl. So just pour all of that in, and then you're gonna mix on medium until it's well combined. The batter's all done. Now it's time to fill our cake pans. 
You can make this a two or three layer cake. It's totally up to you. You make three layers, you get more of that pecan coconut filling. Just saying. So I'm gonna do a three layer cake. This batter is thinner than your traditional cake batter. So I like to ladle it in and get even amounts in every single pan. So I'm gonna do a few ladles in that pan, then move to my next one, get two in there. And you can see that it's much thinner, but it gets nice and fluffy and chocolatey in the oven. And then two more in that. And then I repeat the process until I have no more batter left in my bowl. Now that my cake pans are all nice and filled, I'm gonna bake them in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until an assertive toothpick comes out clean. Always set your timer for the lowest time, so set it for 20 minutes. Check your cakes. If they're not quite done, then you can add in more time. But if you set it for 25 and they bake sooner, you've overbaked your cakes. So let me get these into the oven. While my cakes are in the oven, I'm gonna move over to the stove and start making our coconut pecan filling. We're gonna start making our filling by first adding our butter. brown and granulated sugar. And evaporated milk. Finally, our eggs, all of that in a medium saucepan. And we're gonna whisk and combine those together. And then we're gonna put this over a medium heat to let the butter melt and let it thicken. So you're gonna bring it to a boil and then you're gonna constantly stir once it comes to a boil until that mixture thickens up. My mixture is now at a boil, so I'm gonna continue to whisk until it gets nice and thick. About five to six minutes, but you really wanna make sure it's getting nice and thick. So my mixture is nice and thick and I'm gonna remove it from our heat. So I've removed my mixture from the heat. Now it's time to add in our vanilla extract. Our coconut. And as you notice, I'm mixing and whisking and stirring as I add in my ingredients. And our pecan. Just whisk and stir to get that all combined. What I'm going to do next is add it to a glass bowl. I'm gonna let it completely cool down before putting it in the layers of my cake. Because you want this to thicken up, cool down, and be a nice filling. As you can see right now, it's still a little loose, but as it cools, it gets much thicker. Mm. My cakes are baked, they've cooled, I've trimmed the tops, my filling has cooled down and thickened. It's now time to make my chocolate buttercream frosting. So the first step I do is I mix the cocoa powder and confectioner sugar together in a bowl. I find it just helps the cocoa powder incorporate into the frosting a little bit easier. And it doesn't have to be exactly blended in. It's just getting that cocoa powder to mix into your confectioner sugar. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna add our butter to a mixing bowl. Just like that. And then I'm going to take that melted chocolate and add that in with the butter. Make sure your melted chocolate is cooled. You don't want to add warm melted chocolate to your butter because it's gonna melt all of that butter and your buttercream won't hold up. So just get all of that melted chocolate. A spatula there, and then we're gonna mix that on medium until the butter and chocolate are all creamed together and combined. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl 
My butter is nice and creamy mixed with my chocolate. So I have a nice base for my chocolate buttercream. And now I'm going to start adding my confectioner's sugar, just a little at a time. I don't want to add it all in there. I want to give it time to really mix together. So I'm going to add about a third. And just keep adding until all of it's gone. So let's mix that on medium. Scrape, add more, scrape, add more. All of my confectioner's sugar has been incorporated into my buttercream. I'm now going to add my heavy cream. I don't add it all at once. I add a little at a time because I want to control how loose my buttercream becomes. I may not need it all or I may need a little more. So let's add about half of the heavy cream and mix that on medium. Okay, for this batch, I don't need all of the heavy cream. It's a nice texture and nice consistency. So I'm going to add in my salt and vanilla extract. And we're gonna mix that on medium one last time. So everything's ready and it's time to start building my German chocolate cake. So I have a layer of cake here and what I'm gonna do is just take my filling, oh, look how gorgeous that is, and just put it on top and just layer that. Get a nice layer of that pecan coconut filling right over top. And we're just gonna do this, layer another cake and some more filling. I just put on my second layer of cake. So we're gonna add our second layer of filling. All right, we're gonna switch gears here. So we're gonna put our filling over here and we're gonna move to our chocolate buttercream. And we're just gonna put a heaping amount on the top because we're gonna start with our top coat. Take my icing knife and just smooth that out all over that cake. My cake is completely covered in that delicious chocolate buttercream. The last thing I'm going to do is do one final layer of the filling on top, just to give it that look of a German chocolate cake. So just do a nice layer all the way around with all of that extra fat. All right, and I'm not bringing my filling completely to the edge because next I wanna pipe a nice border around that topping. So I have some chocolate buttercream in my piping bag and just doing some rosettes all the way around as one final dressing. And there we have it, German chocolate cake. Thank you once again for letting me share my passion for baking with all of you. I hope you enjoyed this German chocolate cake. As you know, I will, because chocolate is what? My favorite flavor. Come back and see me right here on The Sweet Spot. Click like, subscribe, more to come.